Hi and welcome to Chiquita's Crochet. Um, today we will be doing this tiara. I made one to fit the mannequin. I also made one for my size in pink. This is basically for adults. You, you also can adjust it even smaller for little girls, little babies. Um, I'm just going to uh, show you how to do the crochet part and you guys can bling it with uh, as long as it's not a child or old enough. If they're old enough to have bling on here, you can glue it on or sew it on or anything on there. Decorate it. Okay, and I'll be back to start the tutorial. Okay, we are back. This is the one I made for uh, this this for my size. Um, I did do it a tiny bit tight because you know how they stretch. So, yeah, I have a big head. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it in the same color. We're gonna start from here. If you notice, it's the same pattern as my uh, as the shawl that I made with unforgettable waves and from there you have to end on the side so we can do a chain around attach it here and go single crochet around so I'll be back you need uh, this is petal pink some scissors I'm using a 4.5 millimeter and a darning needle Okay, let me adjust it. Okay. We're doing a slip knot. Well actually a loose loose knot. Go around two fingers with the tail on this side. Around halfway cross. Go under the first one over the second one. Pull. Oops, sorry. We're in a different setting so pull, twist up, let go, grab the one that's attached to the yarn, chain three, one, two, three. Let me adjust the camera. Here we go. And the light, I forgot. There you go. And excuse the, the noise in the background. is my uh, swamp cooler. It's 100 degrees and I couldn't film last week because it was more than 100. And my cooler was making a lot of noise. So I am filming a little farther than the cooler. Not enough that I'll be cool enough to do this. So excuse the noise and whatever other noise that there is. So okay. okay. Chain three, yarn over for double crochet, yarn over, go through the circle, loose ring, yarn over, grab some yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. One more time, yarn over, go through the loose ring, grab some yarn, pull it through the ring, grab some yarn, pull it two, through two. And grab some yarn, pull through two. The chain three is going to count. Okay, gonna do chain three one, two, three. I'm gonna do three double crochets in the ring. Okay, there's one. There's two, there's three, okay, we're going to cinch it shut, just like that, it's going to look like a kind of a triangle, okay, chain four, one, two, 
three, four. Turn your work. For just this round, we're going to do three double crochets in the first that we ended, double crochet from the previous round. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. So this space is going to be the increased space for the next uh, round. Row. Okay. I, no chain in between. I don't like chaining in between. So you go directly to the middle to do the peak or the point. You do three double crochets. This is just a simple, simple uh, tiara. It's not something fancy, but you can make it fancy by blinging it. At one, two, I'm sorry if I wasn't counting, three, chain three for the peak. One, two, three. Yarn over, go through there, little hole or space. Grab some yarn, pull it through, grab some yarn, pull through two, grab some yarn, pull through two. That's a double crochet. Two more. One and two, and that's the third one. So it's three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Okay, in the middle. Sorry for all this shaking. This is a new area, new table, and I believe it shakes when I move. So, I apologize. Okay. And the third chain from the three chains here, that's where we're going to do the three double crochets. One, two, three. And then we're going to do chain one. And one double crochet back into where the three double crochets were done. It's taking shape. We're gonna do that for five. I forgot to tell you that. I'm sorry. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three. Four and five. You, if you want to, if you're gonna do it for a little girl, and if you want it smaller, you can you can stop at row three, row four, depending on the height and the length you want. Okay. This is basically an adult head or or a teenager. Chain four. One, two, three. Four, turn your work yarn over and remember the space that I was telling you right here in the space we're gonna do three double crochets one two three move into the other space do three more one two three okay we're in the middle now repeat three double crochets three chain three three double crochets always in the middle is the same thing okay three double crochets one two three and chain one two three three double crochets one two, three, okay, three double crochets in the space, one, two, 
three. In the space that we did the chain four, like in the beginning, we're going to do three double crochets. One, whoops, sorry, two, three. Chain one, and in that chain three, one, two, three, we're going to do a double crochet. That way we make the space for the, this is so far what we have. One, two, three. Chain one, two, three, four. Turn it around. In the space. One, two, three. Okay. We're 11 minutes in, so we're, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to finish all the way to the end. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back. And I haven't finished it because I forgot to show you. Well, no, I, didn't, I just want to remind you. Chain one at the end. And one double crochet in the third chain. One, two, three. From the previous round. Okay. We have one, two, three, four. One more to go. And then... Um, I'm going to show you one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to in the space three double crochets. Next space, and so on. Three double crochets, three double crochets, three double crochets in the middle. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Space, 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 three double crochets. Space, three double crochets, and the chain one, and the double crochet. Okay? I'll be back, I'll meet you at the end of this one. Okay, I'm at the end, I already chained one. I'm going to double crochet in the third one third chain and from here this is what we have you can weave in the end now or wait until we go around and we just uh, hide it in there okay so this is what the size that we made you can tell by the middle one two three four and five okay for the one that I made for myself I did 37 chains for the mannequin, I did 35. So measure the head that you're doing the tiara for. If you don't exactly know, have someone measure and let you know. Um, just do like two, two or three chains less. I would do two chains less than the measurement um, because they do stretch and you want it tight, a little bit tight and snugly on the person. Okay, so from there... We are going to chain, move this out of the way, uh, for this one I'm going to chain 35, okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, I have 8 so far, I'll be back so you don't have to hear me count, okay, I have my 35, uh, just make sure it doesn't, when you're going to attach it, I'm going to flip it right now. When you do attach it, I'm going to ask you to take your hook oh, hook off. Okay, make sure it's not twisted. Like this. Go in this corner. And this very first one, first chain, and hook your your chain through through 
through like this okay and make another chain once it's through make another chain so it could get locked in it's locked in there now we're going to do single crochet on every stitch or chain you go in grab some yarn pull it through grab some yarn pull through both of them if you want you can put a stitch marker you can put a stitch marker at this beginning I'm pretty sure we can tell but if you um, if you are accustomed to it you can put a stitch marker right there okay we do okay single crochet single crochet go in the chain grab some yarn pull it through grab some yarn pull through the both loops okay I'm gonna go all the way until I get to this part so I can show you how to do this okay I am back to this side um, just make sure that you don't miss this chain right here it looks a little bit sneaky if you go like this it looks like you're done but if you turn it this way it's right here okay now we're going to start the single crochet on the bottom side the beginning that we started back and forth um, I'm gonna go into this double crochet right here on the top and usually I do two in this long space right here one two and then I and every little little gap like this, that's not gonna be the third one. So basically three, one, two, three. See that? One in the hole and two in the space. One in the hole, which it hides sometimes, but you can wiggle your your hook and put it in there. Okay? Let's try that again. You can see a slight little hole right there. Just push in the hook right there. Sorry for the camera movement. Two in the space. One, oh, you can see that now there's a hole right in there. Two in the space. <laughs> sometimes you can't see it just put it anywhere oh this is it's getting a little anywhere where where that this hook goes like down okay so let's see let's try this one right here there's one there's two in the middle. Whoop. That's how it's looking so far. Here's the tail. Just keep it there. So you can hide the tail and no worry about too many tails to weave in. No, it's basically the opposite. Here's the hole. Two in the space. One. Two. There's a hole. Two in the space. I'm going to cut my tail here now because it's been from here to here. And it's way off for my tiara so Ooh, just watch don't don't kill the other yarn <laughs> there you go okay in the hole two in the space 
we're getting back one in the hole and two in the space and there you go you slip stitch to the first first single crochet I should have done this one a little looser there you go wait a Yeah, make sure you do the first single crochet a little looser because I am struggling. Hold on. There you go. And slip stitch. <laughs> okay. We're going to do some more rounds on this chain one in that same chain one do a single crochet make sure you do a loose single crochet in the beginning that way you won't have any trouble okay single crochet single crochet all the way around the second round should be easier because you're not struggling and put it in in the spaces or in the in the chains, it usually is a lot faster once you go to the second round. And I'll meet you, keep going all the way, I'll meet you at the end of this round. But basically, it's only single crochets going to the hole in the single crochet that before. Grab some yarn, pull it through, grab some yarn, pull through both. That is a single crochet, and that's all you're doing all the way around. So I'll meet you uh, before I do this slip stitch so I can show you again, okay? Okay, we are back and we're going to do a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Easier than last, the last one, huh? So this is what I, I finished. For the other tiara, if you want, see, this is the the same length, width. If you want more thickness on your tiara around this band, you can. But we're done. Um, I'm gonna leave it as that. But if you're gonna do another round, you can, or to what other rounds you want. Um. We're going to clip it here. Pull it. Thread your darning needle with it. I have a big eye one. Oh. Okay. Here's where it's coming out from. I'm doing it immediately on the next one. Going backwards to where it's coming out from on this side, I do that. A little bit tighter on this side and then it's kind of an invisible looks like a chain kind of just weave in your ends however you want to weave them in just remember don't go back through the same hole or the same weave because you'll undo it and you're done just clip it See, take this out of the way. You can adjust it. Once it goes on the person, it actually stands up straight. Okay? So you can do it in gold, uh, platinum, whichever one. Here's the inside. 
There you go. That is the tiara. If you want to see it on the mannequin, I'll do it right now. There you go. That is the finished tiara. Simple, easy, and quick. Um, side view. Back view. And I thank you for watching and being patient with the noise. And I hope you like it and make a lot of them. We, I did have a um, crochet uh, page in Facebook. It's called Chiquita's Crochet Chat. Where you can post whatever you make from these tutorials. And we can talk and whatever in that channel. Just, you know, keep it nice and friendly and... Um, I will look forward to seeing your finished objects. Thanks for watching.